Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Miniverse. So today I'm going to make some dumpsters for gas lands. Um, and I don't mean like the green ones with the black lids that you see like outside the apartment buildings. I mean like the big ones you see at construction sites, like the big roll-off ones. Um, kind of like you'd see in Fallout too, if you're familiar with Fallout. There's a bunch of them in Fallout. Um, but anyway, I got some of these crayons, these big 64 packs at the dollar store. So they're like $1.25 a piece. Um, and I'm going to use the boxes uh, for kind of a frame underneath. We'll, we'll see if it works. So let's get on down to the table and get after it. Alright, so let's see what we got going on. They've got a little perforation here that goes all the way around and that might just be the right size that I'm looking for. Alright, so it looks pretty good. Um, see it next to a car. Yeah, the height's pretty good, I think, for the big ones. Um, it's a little bit long though. I don't think they're quite two car lengths long. Uh, so I'm going to cut a little bit off of the side here. Alright, so I think, if you look on here, there's like crayons, right? So I'm going to go to the third crayon. Try to get it as 90 degrees as I can. They should be lined up on the other side. Looks like they are. And that should leave, that should be fairly easy to cut here. So size-wise, that looks a little better. Uh, so I'm going to cut the end off of this to uh, put back on there. And I'm going I'm to get the hot glue gun out. And I'm going to put a little bit around the edges here where, those, where the overlap is, just to make sure that stays nice and tight, too. I want to make sure I line the edges up good so that the final product looks better. Alright, so that looks that's pretty good. Good good working product there. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut this other box and then I'm going to cut the bottom off at that same height and then cut it down too so that I can get like four of these dumpsters out of this and then I'll be back. Alright, so I've got, I made one of the bottom ones and it turns out there's a lot more going on in, inside here than, uh, than I than I anticipated, so it's a little more complicated, so I thought I'd just run you guys through it, show you what I'm doing. So, you open the bottom, it's got this little sharpener thing in it, and that's actually going to make a pretty cool little greeble, I'll save that for later. And it's got this big folded piece, uh, so I'm going to cut that off, but before I do, I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. make it a little easier to cut. Alright, so we don't need that. So that'll fold up a lot better. It is going to leave this little hole in the side, but we'll take care of that later. Um, the next thing we need to do is cut it down, uh, both this way and this way. Um, so let's do it this way first, that should be a little easier. So I'll get the ruler out. Uh, measured the height of the box and it's like an inch and five eighths. Inch and five eighths. So let's measure that out on here. Alright, once we get that measured, I'm just going to use the X Acto knife. Um, I could mark it and then use the scissors, but I got this nice metal ruler, so I'll just use the X Acto on it. Alright, so another thing I noticed is this piece that we just cut off is almost the exact same height so I can actually get six of them out of here instead of just four so bonus alright so now that that's cut down we have to cut it down this way to make it shorter so I could measure it but I'm just gonna do the easy way and use one of these and mark it just mark it from the inside so I'm cutting the outside end off and the same on the other end And then I can just use the scissors and snap it off. There we go. Let's get that glued together. Alright, now we just need a piece for the end. So I'm just going to use this piece off of the uh, piece we cut off. Try to make it as square as possible when I go around. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's gas lines, it's wasteland, so... 
All right, there we go. Got another one done. Now, let's see what we can do with these guys. All right, so they're already the right height, so we just need to make them the right length. And then we can use these pieces for the bottom. Uh, let's cut it to the right length first. That might be a little easier. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on so that I, it'll be a little more square when I do the rest of it. And I think what I'm gonna do is just fold these in and then use those to glue together for the back side. It'll be a little, a little bit off, but um, we can cover it up. It'll be fine. And it looks like, uh, for whatever reason, that, that piece is a little longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue it together and then uh, we'll just trim that off. Let's see if it's, no. it's a little long right here. Yeah, pretty close. It's got a little space in it. That's all right. And now I'll just trim off this little excess piece. Easy peasy. All right, I'm gonna put the other one together and uh, then I'll be back. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is cover these holes up. And I'm just gonna do it real simple like, just cut out a couple of chunks to look like pieces of metal that they welded on there. Just like that. All right, so next, these things have ribs on them that's like it's just like tube steel that's welded to them so I'm gonna use that as an excuse to use up some of my foam core scraps and I think I'm just gonna make them like an eighth of an inch so I'm just gonna mark both ends at an eighth of an inch And then use my exacto knife to just run down just run a few of them off <clears throat> should probably put a sharper blade on there but so it's gonna be so I'm just gonna cut up a whole bunch of these they're gonna go on there like that and uh, they're gonna go across the top too like that okay so I got a bunch of these cut out and a couple of observations I thought I'd share with you um, it's not, it's not as easy as it looks. Um, I ruined probably as much as I actually made. Uh, and the shorter your run, the easier it is to get a, to get a better, better cut. Uh, these longer ones, the foam tends to flex under the ruler and it can, it can wiggle sideways. <clears throat> also, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you, but the, the thickness of the foam is greater than the eighth of an inch width that we cut. So I'm gonna to try to remember that when I put them on there to put the longer side of the rectangle on the box. So let's go ahead and do that. And so I'm gonna put one on either end. I'm just gonna glue it down right at the end. Pull it off. Try to line it up at the top. I think it, that's more important than uh, the bottom. And then I think the best option is to just go about right in the middle. All right, and then I think if I just put them in one in the middle of each of those, I think that'll be okay. I could do two. I think that'd get too busy. I'm just gonna do one in the middle of each. Just try to split the distance best I can. All right, and then for the other side, I'm just gonna try to line them up and just make them even. All right, not looking too bad, I don't think. Um, we do need to go around the top though. So I'm gonna start with the end, one of the ends, and I'm gonna cut these at about a 45. So I would, I would like them to fit a little better than, uh, than just squares. And before that glue's all the way dry, let's see if I can get a 45 on the top here. There we go. 
All right, so for the long sides, I'm gonna need a longer thing. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a 45 into one end. Didn't quite get a 45, it's okay. And then same thing with the other two sides. Boom, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest of these and then I'll be back. Okay, so I got all those done. Um, they need, it needs a, a ridge like that across the bottom. So, you know, kind of evened up. So I don't, I don't really want to cut those little ones like that to go on there. So I just got some bigger sheets and I'm just gonna glue these down and cut them out. Okay, so now that there's a bottom on there, I'm gonna start filling this up. I'm gonna start with pennies. I'm gonna put some pennies in the bottom just to kind of give it a little more weight. And then I'm gonna use all this scrap foam to kind of fill it up about halfway, maybe a little bit more. And uh, then I'm gonna do the, the trash details later with something else. This is just bulk to, to fill it up before I paint it. So for the pennies, the big glue gun, I'm just gonna put a bunch in the bottom there. Drop some pennies in on it. And then I'm gonna put a little more glue in there and start filling it with pieces of scrap foam. I don't want it to go too high because the finished product, I don't want it sticking over the top at all. I want to be able to stack these. So a little foam, a little glue, a little foam, a little glue. All right, and I'm just gonna do that to the rest of them. Okay, so once those are all dry, it's time for some black paint Mod Podge. So I lost my original audio for this section of the video, so you get to listen to my cold voice do a voiceover. So these dumpsters come in many different colors. Uh, most of them are black though, but I decided to do one of them in green also. It's just cheap craft paint, do a couple coats of each. And then once those were dry, I took some cheap brown paint and mixed it with some water, a little drop of dish soap, and I just slathered it all over everything, make them look nice and dirty. All right, so those are looking nice and grimy. Um, I want to mix up some rust, so I'm gonna go with this brushed bronze, because it's metallic, and some burnt sienna. So I'm gonna use a piece off of the sponge here to, do, to get some texture on there. My tweezers across the top there. Bottom too, I guess the bottom would get kind of rusty. And just here and there. Okay, give them a few minutes to dry. All right, so that turned out a little bit shinier than I wanted. Uh, so I just mix a little bit of black in my brown wash here. I'm gonna go over it again just to tone that down. And then I think I'm, I think I'm done painting. Uh, we'll move on to doing the garbage. I spent way too much time on this already. Okay, so I've got these grimed up as much as I'm going to make them. Um, now I have to worry about filling up the insides. And you guys probably saw this one that I did not put anything in yet. Um, that's because I'm going to use some of these tea light candles and I'm going to make it a dumpster fire. So first thing we need to do is I need to poke holes in the bottom so I can access these switches. And I'm, I'm just going to kind of wing it and cut some out because it's going to be all covered up and filled up later anyway. All right, so I got a couple holes now. Now I just need to line it up to where these switches go into the holes. Put a little hot glue in there. There we go, you can see down in there, you can see the switch. And I'm just gonna do that with the other one. All right, there we go. Two tea lights that I can see. Now I need to get some scraps to fill in the, the space so that it's kind of even across the top. All right, so just a little hot glue and some foam there just to kind of fill the space up a little bit. So for the rest of these, um, to fill them with trash. I've been collecting trash off my off my mat when I craft stuff for a while now. And it's, um, it's bits of plaster and paper, MDF, uh, foam, all, all kinds of stuff, just the stuff you sweep up. But um, The problem with this though, that there's not a lot of color variation. There's like browns and grays and some white, and that's about it. Um, so, but luckily, we have a whole bunch of crayons now that I'm not gonna use. So, um, I'm going to put them in 
my grinder, grind them up and mix them in. I just pulled out a few different colors. Um, no real rhyme or reason, just brighter, bright ones that kind of represented their thing. I'm leaving the paper on there and everything. Uh, just gonna fill it up and go to town. You know, I didn't want to do it too much. I want pieces, not just powder. Uh, that looks pretty good. There's some good colors in there. Nice little big chunks can come out. And I'm just gonna mix that into the garbage. There we go. Got a little more color to it now. So one other thing I want to do, instead of just using this garbage, um, I want to make little bags. All right, so I got a couple of these bags, just bags you get from the store. Um, I got a white one and a gray one. I kind of wish I had a black one. That'd be really cool, but I don't. So all I'm gonna do is just cut some pieces off of these. Um, I don't even really know how big to make them. Like two by two, I think I'll start with, something like that. And then I'm just gonna pack some of the smaller trash, I guess, inside of it. I actually really don't need much at all for this. Then just pinch it up together. Give it a little twist. And then I'm gonna hit it with some of this floral wire around it to keep it closed. All right. And then I'm gonna cut the top of it off. So it just looks... Just cut the top off so it looks more like a little trash bag. Let me do another one in white and I'll do a close up for you. All right, so a little close up on the trash bags here. A little piece of plastic from the bag here. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit of this garbage in there, some of the smaller stuff. Try to get some of the crayons, there we go. That's pretty good. And then just gather it up, the edges. Kind of force all the, all the garbage down to the bottom. Like that. Give it a little twist. And then, some of this floral wire. Go around it once or twice, just as tight as I can get it. Clip the ends. Kind of push it back in. And then cut the excess pretty short. Like that, there you go. A little trash bag. So I'm gonna make a bunch of those to put in there. Well, a few of them to put in there. Okay, so I spent like maybe five minutes and I got a whole bunch of them here. So I got ten. Yeah, ten of them. That'll be up to me. Uh, they're just little accent pieces, but I think it's worth it to take the five minutes, make some little trash bags. Alright, so now we need to start filling these up. Um, and as you probably guessed, I'm gonna run a bunch of hot glue in here and then just pile in the garbage. And put some of the garbage bags in there too. And I've got some like car parts, just pieces of uh, old Hot Wheels that I've cut up for whatever reason. I'm sure you got a bunch of those laying around. So I'm just gonna glue those right in there too. I'm gonna spread them out a little, I don't have a ton of them. There we go, I'm just gonna do up the rest of them. Let me show you, there we go. Yeah, so now I'm gonna do up the rest of them. All right, so those are all, those are all done. They got garbage on them now. It looks pretty good, I think. Um, there's a couple problems. There's a couple things I want to address. Um, First of all, the bigger hot glue gun would have been better, but I'm out of glue. I don't want to run to the store, so I used the little one. Uh, second of all, when I was putting it in there, it worked a lot better to do one little section at a time, and that might be because of the, the smaller glue gun. Uh, and that also created a lot more of the little stringy web stuff, um, which I burned off with a lighter. Be extremely careful if you do that. Um, and the fire one, I wanted to make sure I didn't completely cover the the little light pieces. I don't know if you can really see those. Let me turn them on so you can 
see that they're they're a little bit buried but they still come out enough to where they, they give off some light. Lastly, this stuff's not going to stay there, obviously. Uh, the, the hot glue really was just a, a base to keep it from sliding around too much. So, so to fix that, I'm going to mix up some matte Mod Podge, some black paint, a little bit of brown with some water, and then I'm just going to kind of pour it over there. All right, and adding that water just a little bit at a time definitely makes it uh, makes up a little easier. So I'm just going to take our first one, and I'm just going to slowly dribble it in there. Try to go over everything, but I don't want so much that it pours out on through the bottom. It's probably an easier way to do this. Let me see. I do have a pipette here. I wonder if that'll work. Ah, it's a little thick. That's ah, okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, so that pipe had definitely worked better. Um, and now we got everything looking all grimy and it's kind of wet. Uh, I do want to wait for it all to kind of completely dry. Uh, make sure that, that Mod Podge is really going to stick it all together. So I'll be back when it dries. Alright, so now that that's dry, all of our stuff, you can see it's all stuck in there. I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't pry on it too hard, but it's good en good enough for now. Good enough that it's not just going to fall out while we play. Um, all of it, so those are pretty much done except for uh, the fire one, the burning one. Um, and I want to do a little more than just have a couple of tea lights in there. So I'm going to use this uh, polyfill here, and I'm going to glue some of it in there with the hot glue gun. Alright, so now all it needs is, I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to hit the top of it with some uh, black spray paint, uh, just to get it looking a little more like smoke. Um, and then I think I'm going to hit it with, once that's dry, I'm going to clear coat it on top of it, just to keep it from being all, uh, all fluffy and coming out too easy. So, I'll be right back with that. Alright, so that's what it looks like after being painted, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Yes, it's got a nice little fire effect. I'll get some shots with the lights off here in a little bit for you. Um, I think it's looking really cool, and I know I said that I wasn't going to do any graffiti, but I think this one needs some. Alright, so there's my terrible attempt at some graffiti. Alright, so one final touch for these. I almost forgot. Um, I'm going to dry brush with a little light beige and get it to blend in with the rest of my uh, wasteland terrain. So I'm just going to use the unicorn brush here. Alright, so my graffiti wasn't quite dry and the brush took it a little bit, but I think it looks okay. I think it just makes it look older. Um, but now they're all done. They look a little dusty and dirty and they're ready for the wasteland. So let's get some action shots. And here's the dumpster fire with the studio lights off. So this build took a lot longer than I thought it would, but it turned out pretty good. Um, I think that there's some pretty good pieces of terrain there. 
Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and I'll see you next time.